Hey guys, so we're going to hop into part two of our Q&A video. I am Maurice, this is ENFP Identity, and here we go. All right, so next question comes from, I am Orion Angel. Um, Orion asks, I am an INFJ. Hey. Well, the ENFP identity, it's uh, a horde of us ENFPs. But uh, he says, I am INFJ, and how do I know that I am romantically special for an ENFP guy as opposed to just an option or one of many? Do you guys have flings? And how do you tell uh, if there's a personal connection that's something uh, potentially serious or just a past time. Thank you. Uh, the question is, do you feel special? Um, you're technically one of the two types that is considered the best fit for us as ENFPs. So you have that going for you. You have that as an advantage because you are an INFJ and, uh, that, like I said, that's one of the two ideal matches for us as ENFPs. But again, like I said, you don't wanna use MBTI as a hard and fast rule with who you plan your future with. Um, do we have flings? Yeah, but everybody does, right? <laughs> I don't wanna be like, oh yeah, everybody does this, fine. But genuinely, I mean, everybody has flings. Everybody does the one night stand thing. Not wanting to normalize that per se, but um, I do want to say that it's not unique to us as ENFPs. That, that's really why I'm trying to say that every type kind of does a little bit of everything. So I don't want to sit here and say, oh yeah, we as ENFPs, we're the, the, the type that you have a fling with. Um, like I said, we get bored very easily. So if we don't build a real connection with you, there is slim to no chance that, you know, things are going to go forward from there. But like I said, Orion, do you feel special? Because we will make you feel special if, if we're feeling you. Like keeping it, keeping it just serious like that. That's really how it's, if we're, we actually see ourselves being with you, then we'll make you feel special. Next question from uh, D D L Y Rama. <laughs> sorry, yeah, like I said, I'm terrible with names, guys. So I, I'm, I'm sorry. D L Y Rama asks, "What is your struggle as an ENFP?" <sighs> My struggle is ENFP. Um, I would definitely have to say is scheduling and time management. Uh, that's truly been like my biggest fight. Um, just, just making sure I actually stick to the schedule and deadlines that I give myself, uh, which I have been failing at, like absolutely failing at. Um, also uh, anxiety. It's something that I've talked about before, but uh, anxiety has anxiety has been a common side character in my life, um, if I can say it like that. Uh, and it's something that I have to consistently work through nearly every single day um, to to really to really get through. So anxiety check. I feel like I'm doing pretty damn good today. Like really, I'm just tired. Here's the coffee. Smile. Um, yeah, but biggest struggles as an ENFP is uh, scheduling, uh, time management, and anxiety because everybody believes the mask that they see, the, the happy, um, optimistic guy that they see at work or, or, or out in public. But there's more to us as ENFPs than just the, the, the happiness and the glitter and, and all of that. And I know not all of you wear that mask when you're out, but we are typically considered the, um, what's the word? 
we're, we're considered to not really have depth when we we really do. Um, next question. SMJ. SMJ says, what the hell is an ENFP? Um, that's a loaded question. Let's see. Do I give you the short answer or... All right. How about this? I'll give you what our functional stack is. Um, it's N-E-F-I-T-E or T-E-S-I. Um, and I know those were just letters that probably meant nothing to you, but um, really it's extroverted intuition, introvert feeling, extrovert thinking, introvert sensing. Um, again, that probably means little to none, nothing to you, but simple answer, we're badasses and we make the world go round, for real. Next question from Inexhaustible Magic. Uh, yeah, Inexhaustible Magic asks, what types of careers uh, are ENFPs most fulfilled in? Um, how best uh, do we interact with coworkers? Hobbies are fulfilling for this So, what... I would say uh, anything that lends itself to uh, high creativity, uh, mental supervision is kind of the best career for you. High creativity, mental supervision, uh, and personally the career that I feel EMPs would probably be most fulfilled in is uh, some level of production. So, you know, photography, videography, graphic design, anything like that. Um, and I know I hear you guys scream, I'm not artistic, I can't draw. Like, graphic design, that terrifies me. That's fine. It's fine. Not every NFP is an artist. Um, so, also, because we're so good with people, I would say that we would find a large deal of success um, being like a comedian, an editor, sales manager, teachers, which that's what my degree was in, uh, was education, uh, counselors. We're, we're natural counselors, so I would definitely say that being a counselor is something that we as ENFPs will be very talented in. Um, I think most anything in the psych field really would be uh, like gold for us if we're not necessarily creative type. Just, you know, avoid banking. Please, for the love of God, avoid banking. Next question. Is ENFP really an ambivert? It's a bit confusing. I easily feel tired when I'm around people and drained unless it's close friends. But I have a strong need to share and talk. Are ENFPs really ambiverts? Yes. Uh, what is an ambivert? Um, it's a, kind of a mix between introvert and extrovert. Um, the reason that you feel um, easily tied around people is that we as ENFPs are the most introverted of the extroverted types. Therefore, um, the reason that you don't necessarily feel drained around close friends, but you feel drained around a large group of people or out in public is because we value genuine connections with people. So we do best, we recharge our batteries best in a small group uh, or like our small circle of like two, three, four friends. Like that is that is perfect for us. So yes, we are in fact ambiverts. Uh, this name, Ken, Ken, can, can a gen, can, can a gen? I, can, can, I, I, what is, what would be the deepest fear or need of an ENFP? Uh, what is the main thing that makes them feel fulfilled? Easy enough. Off the top, I would say that the biggest need, the deepest need of an ENFP is uh, freedom. If we lack freedom, 
Uh, we feel like we're being held down. We become uh, resentful. And I think that we begin to kind of regress. Uh, we begin to kind of like go backwards. Um, I also think it's valuable for us to indulge in our passions. Like, like uh, this passionate life is not worth living. I don't know who said that. Maybe it's me. Anyway, yeah, freedom and indulging in our passions. Just, you know, don't overindulge. That, yeah. Um, let's see. Next question from B4 Canyon Lands. B4 Canyon Lands. What's the biggest struggle when it comes to committing to a relationship as an ENFP? Big struggle is we tend to get bored. I, I've said it over and over. We get bored. Um, we seek to be, we seek to be like fascinated and interested and challenged by our significant other. And uh, if we don't get that, it feels like we're being dragged down. Um, and we genuinely hate, hate that. Like being bored is like the worst thing to us. So staying interested um, is, is just one of our biggest struggles. Um, because our, our mind moves so fast from one thing to the next that we, we quickly get bored with the old and, you know, we're ready for the new. Um, next question from uh, Makai or, or Micah with the loud laugh. Um, Micah with the loud laugh asks, do you think us ENFPs speak our minds a bit more? Um, I don't necessarily mean as in being blunt, but um, as in not being afraid to be honest with our intentions and champion causes and self-expression. Definitely, 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 definitely. Um, especially if it's something that like resonates with us, um, like, or a cause that we like connect with on a deep, deep level. Um, we will go down swinging for something we believe in. Um, or when it comes to like our our morals, we we don't care for the most part who we have to butt heads with. Our boss, our parents, our significant other. When it comes to our, our morals, we will fight tooth and nail. Um, our morals trump our need for harmony in those situations, which says a whole lot because we as ENFPs seek harmony. Like we want to be harmonious. But if you challenge our morals, like, Throw, throw Harmony out the window, it's about to go down. Um, yeah, so, so, yeah, definitely we as ENFPs speak our minds, um, I think a bit more than others, because we have such strong morals. I, I really think that's what that is. Um, so, question from Moses.co. Um, advice on an ENFP young boss who was forced to be mature in the society standard, rendering, rendering him to always put the mask on. That mask, man. That mask. Um, so what I can say is that sometimes it feels like we have to wear the mask 24-7, but my best advice to you is find someone you can lean on and talk to. Um, take a break, laugh, be goofy, be, just be yourself, be free. Um, have that serious conversation about like nothing at all um, with some of your closest friends because because that, that's, that's that thing right there. Like being able to just really just talk about nothing is, is, is nice. Um, but yeah, friends, friends, friends. Like, I don't know how to how like to say this more but like we as ENFPs need like that inner circle to tell us when we're spiraling or or like if we just need to blow off steam or something is so so very important that that like we have this or we may begin to regress like that mask comes with a price man and you, you 
don't want to be stuck in that mask because you're, you're not being genuine to who you are. And again, that's not a life we're living, bro. Like, you, you don't want to do that. Like, be a boss. Like, handle your business and everything, but don't feel like you have to wear the mask 24-7. Like, we all need to, to, to kick back and relax because that's how you end up like really in a very bad position uh, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, all of that. All right guys, I think that just about wraps it up for the second Q&A video for ENFP. Um, again, I really, really, really enjoyed this guys and I definitely look forward to doing more of these. Um, all you really have to do is keep asking questions and that'll provide me with the questions that I need to keep doing these Q&A videos. If you guys like it, go ahead and hit like down below, share the video with someone that you know, let them know about this weird ENFP guy who just doesn't know how to keep to a schedule. <laughs> um, again, like, comment, subscribe guys. I, so many of you guys are not subscribed to the page. Just subscribe to my channel and you'll get to see the um, videos as they go up. So, you know, I really enjoy having you guys around here and look forward to the next Q&A video that will be coming out here shortly. All right, guys, bye.